this is gonna be a late video. I'm recording it late because I forgot. With everything in life, with my after school band rehearsal. We, we sounded good on the first song. Like, our uh, director, our band director, or teacher, I guess, said uh, that was like a community band grading level there. Which I hope is a good thing. And, oh my gosh, the uh, trumpet. The trumpet part that I play is so breathtaking. Breathtaking as in, I'm literally gonna run out of air. Because it's just da 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 over and over and over again. It's in 6 8. So, yeah, I'm try trying to count. The rhythm's easy to remember, it's the playing the notes that's kind of hard. Because, um, I, I just can't. My brain can't comprehend, okay, it's gonna go da 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 like that, but it's just hard it's hard to read it because it's going by kind of quick, because it's a march. And so rather than just uh rather than re reading them like looking at the measures what was that, five pages of the uh, levels. Rather than looking at the uh, measures themselves, I listen for the others because you know we're kind of we're kind of the harmony, not the melody. And, um, yeah, I just, I just use that for cues to play when the next, uh, note, or the next pitch of the note happens. So, yeah, that's what happened to me today, I guess. I'm kind of debating whether I should actually have the random or void in this one. I think we should. How much space do we have left? Void, universe, multiverse, metaverse, finale. We probably have enough room, but I don't know. Let's see. So I guess we can do a, a thing where, like, empty near James's pixel, and that will be a white pixel. Because that's what the natural color of pixels are, so at least he'll start unveiling stuff. I already have a level called Hidden Shadows, but now we're going to call them Hidden Secrets. We're gonna use the void, of course. There we go again. Use James's text. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a little bit tough to tell where the uh. What? The why did sh Oh, does near not- oh, because, duh. Obviously it's not going to fill the middle tile in because that's not empty. We're going to have to make- have Pixel have the lowest Z value as possible so everything can register- register on top. I need to add... Ah. Uh, 
Yeah, that's one problem. Things won't actually show up. Maybe, second layer, we paint bucket, say, um, uh, we just paint bucket a baba to be, oh, well that rendering's not correct. Baba also Baba has to have the lowest um uh can it go lower? What? Your Z level zero, why are you oh Baba near Uh, it kind of works. I mean, you can see the car you can see Bob of getting like transformed, which I don't want. So this is where we bring in an e a literal empty sprite for an object. We literally bring in an empty sprite. Huh? You can reveal some of it too. This is actually kind of a cool concept for a level. I'd like to see like I like to see some levels like this in a uh, level on map is share because unveiling stuff is kind of cool. Say, so I'm literally just gonna create a sprite on the spot right now. Save it as a uh, new sprite. 24, 24. You know they don't have to be 24 by 24. Uh, what colors are transparent? Like, is it just pure uh, 000 that gets... There, that's a sprite. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta add the wobble frames. New frame, new frame. Perfect! Save as, go to the world. Save it as a PNG file. Call it. Um, we'll just call it. Call it. <laughs> okay. Good. Close that. Now I need to bring in the sprite. I'm gonna edit. I can't even tell where it is. Is this it? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do something called uh, toggling high contrast colors. Wow, you, you can still, you can barely see the babas. Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. We gotta t turn off the palette completely. Okay. Oh, it's because I kept it on. It's none. That explains it. And now we palette void variant. Go ahead and disable. Still kind of lags though. I guess. I guess that's an issue that I'll have to work with because my computer is just completely awful sometimes. Anyways, I want to try and stop the player from going everywhere, so in fact we're going to change the wall back to its original sprite. Or maybe we don't!
Pixel, however. So we're gonna try and let's go ahead and create an area where the player will be. And this way we can eliminate any of the extraneous parts. Well, that's how the walls look. Are they not tiling or? No, they're definitely, didn't I not just get rid of those? Oh, so they stayed there. I thought I was selecting and erasing them. I guess I didn't. Let's go ahead and save. Is that what the renderings hap- that's probably what- that's probably just the rendering. So I might just go ahead and transform it back into its, uh, normal wall. That way we can have... Unless the tiling is messed up. You can see the, the tiling for a split second becomes, you know... Huh, that also temporarily disables hide things. Good to know. So using the zoom resets fall and nudge, I guess. And uh, force high ca contrast colors resets uh, hide stuff. There's cheese that can be abused here not sure how not sure what why that happens like why everything becomes unhidden or the why the level resets i guess to, just to prevent issues from happening i mean i don't know enough about uh, game development so i don't know why the tiles are doing that what if okay we'll just use clouds then That looks kind of cool. All right, you know I'm you know I'm about to make a tiled uh, pixel variant. Someone's already probably done it, but you know what? I made a tiled tiled sprite. I'll make this too. So basically, so basically, I'll just be making corners. That that's literally it. I'll just be making corners, but. Oh gosh, how am I gonna... Well, Pixel's just a full, uh, sprite tile, so... Just renaming the files is gonna be easy. Or I could just use the, uh, template that, uh, I use. The Baba Sprite export thing. But yeah, I gotta bounce. Laters.